And a fiery crash sends three people to the hospital and police tell us at least two of them are robbery suspects. Kimberly Davis has been following this story for us, gathering information, and we understand it all started with a gas station robbery. Amy, that's right. We're told two men walked into that Tiger Mart located in Green Hills and held an employee at gunpoint. They then decided to take the cash register. They also took a cell phone and then they took off in a white Chevy Cruze. And now officers are looking for some answers to a lot of questions that they have about multiple crimes in that area. This is what the scene looked like shortly after that suspected getaway car crashed into a tree and went up in flames. We're told the driver was speeding and ran a stop sign. An officer spotted the vehicle, began to follow that car. Somehow that driver lost control and crashed into a tree on West Hamilton and Flicker. Police say four people were taken from that vehicle and shortly after the car went up in flames. Officers put it out but had to call the fire department to help when the blaze rekindled. Now this all happened after police believe two of these men walked into the Tiger Mart on Hillsborough Pike in Green Hills around midnight. They took off with a cash register while officers were searching for evidence at that store. That's when police responded to reports of a crash matching the suspect's vehicle. Four people are being questioned about multiple armed robberies after the car they were in matched the description of at least two different robberies. Now, all four people are, three people are in the hospital. One woman is being questioned currently by North Precinct police officers. Two men were transported here to Skyline Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. The other man is at Vanderbilt. We're also told he's got non-life-threatening injuries, but he is pretty banged up. Charges are expected. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you more updates as soon as we learn more information. For now, we are live at Skyline Medical Center. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. All right, Kimberly, thank you very much. And more breaking news we're watching. A major marijuana bust landing a couple of men behind bars. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy pulled the arrest warrants earlier this morning. We're talking a lot of pot and uh, some interesting photos on social media as well, Dan. Yeah, we'll get to those photos in just a moment, Steve. We're talking about $600,000 worth of marijuana recovered. Now off the streets in Nashville, it's 140 pounds worth. Police first got a tip about this being shipped to a North Nashville home. They went to check it out, and that's when they arrested Tusabi Edwards. This is a mugshot from a previous drug arrest from a different state, but this morning he's booked the CJC. He's going to have a new mugshot in Nashville. According to a police, they say Edwards flew from Phoenix, Arizona to Nashville just a couple days ago, and we even looked on Facebook and found these pictures posted to his Facebook page on the plane coming to Nashville. Police say he came here to oversee the sale of this 140 pounds of marijuana. That's when he was busted. They also arrested someone else in the process, both charged with felony drug offenses. The other man already bonded out of jail on a $50,000 bond, but Edwards this morning remains at the CJC $200,000 bond for him and those drugs are off the streets. Reporting live this morning in downtown Nashville, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. Dan, thanks. And a young man is missing right now with his family, hoping he's still alive. He was last seen in Oak Grove, Kentucky, where a body was found Wednesday night. Do you think he's still alive? We're praying, pray, you know, praying We're that he praying. is, because right now we, nobody is giving us any information about what what they recovered, about it. They recovered. Nineteen-year-old DeAndre Palmer was reported missing after he never returned home to Clarksville this past Saturday. He was last seen in Oak Grove. Police found a body there, but have not yet identified the victim. If you have any information that could help, contact. Kentucky State Police. And a community is honoring the life of a Tennessee teen who died protecting his friends. A group in Knoxville made this mosaic to honor Xavier Dobson's sacrifice. The designer of the piece says he wants it to stand against gang violence in the city. The 15 year old was killed shielding his friends from gunfire last December. And just last week, his mother accepted the Arthur Ashe Award for courage at the ESPYs.